exactly. Um, here you go. Put that also there. And uh, yeah. Anyway, um, let's get started on this. Oh, what? Of course, I don't want it. Ah! Why did I not press the life? I am so fucking stupid. Anyway, um, welcome to the Morpha project again. I totally forget I pre need to press the live button er er some er sometimes a day. Uh, a day. But uh, yeah, today we're going to be working on the big giant, you know, wing part. So we're going to be working on the red part of this. And hopefully that will work out fine. I believe this is the call that we need. Yes, it is awesome. And we need to switch back to the brush that we normally use. So, pencil 2. Yeah. That is red indeed. Alright, cool. So, um, we need to take a look here because we need to compare stuff. Yeah. So what we need is like these little the these little textures. So we need to have we need to have this kind of effect. Alright. So to do that we need to remove some parts here and then use the blur tool to get to it. Yes. And I am doing it on the wrong layer. God damn it. Why am I always doing it on the wrong layer every single fucking time? I always forget I need to do it on the on the right layer. I'm so stupid. Oh well, uh let's see. So we need to get over here and then get to this. Yes, excellent. Alright, now we we can finally do things. Rightfully so. Um, so the idea is that we actually need only um, the tips. I believe that's the thing. We need to have only tips of uh, red. Right? We only need to have tips of red, right? Yes, tips, not big giant marks. So we need to actually reduce it and then go to the blend tool. Uh, it's not equipped. God damn it. It's not in the wheel. And then use the blend tool to get the red into the color. I believe the color that we have been using so if we are gonna go for the color it's gonna be this one. And we're using this now that this this red button over here. I'm gonna be use that then we should be able to get there so don't mind me if I just, you know, practice this. Yes, that works excellent. Awesome. Alright, cool. Uh, we can now start finding uh, the rest. So, we have a blur tool. The blur tool is going to be the thing that we're going to be using to get the merge into... Um, get the red into, you know, the color scheme. So that that's how we're going to do it. So, next one. Uh, let's see, next one is going to be this one. So we're going to erase some of the parts here. Going to move it until here, right here. And then we're going to use the blur tool to get to get this to there. There we go. Then we're going to use the alpha tool with combining it with the normal tool. To get the right color position, get the right color into it, and boom, there you go. And then run some and repeat. So we want to remove bits of red, then get the um, get the blur tool on it, and get the blur tool to merge the red into the into the you know into the into the wing and then use the alpha tool uh, alpha tool to get the right color 
just let you know we uh, come on come on there you go to get the right color into it and then you know it's only ransom and repeat so it's uh it's not a it's not a difficult pro pro process but holy f holy hell it's it's hard sometimes i believe um so yeah um no oh. so what i'm going to be doing here is you know get the blend to win wait why is this not oh because i'm working on the alpha layer so apparently apparently the um apparently the blur tool doesn't work when you're using alpha layer interesting that's that's actually fascinating to know I didn't know that that actually didn't work. Oh well, you know, but I didn't know now. So go back, pick up that color, go to the alpha, and then you know use the color to get the right put coloration. All right. Now go back to this and press that. Boom. Alright, cool. And then use the blend tool to get everything back into position. Oh wait. Use the alpha tool to get blending. There you go. So now it is less red, more uh less red, more brown. And that's uh that's the idea. So that's the whole thing of this. And then use the blend tool, or uh, use the tool normal tool again, with the alpha to get the color correct, so that we have the right color, because that's a problem that is indeed a problem. So if I want to change the color, I can do that. Normally, it is not that much of a problem, but eh, sometimes it is. All right. Um, so if we can look now at you know, Mr. Shady Pants, yeah, that that th this is more like it. Th this is this is way better. So we have like you know the the red. The red is not over over ejaculated, so it's like we need to have like this kind of this amount of red we need. We don't want more red, so we should have like this kind of amount of red then, right? Yeah. And then use the blend tool to get. To get the positioning right. Forgot that alpha doesn't work. Yes, that's the idea. Awesome. That works. Cool. So I can technically add some more reddish to the parts here. So I'll add some more red. There you go. I added some more red because apparently it was not mm, well. It was good, but it was a little bit too less. So I removed a little bit too much. All right, and then the same goes there. Do the same thing. Add some red. And then now go for the blend. Set the blend, not the sponge. Sponge is also very funny to use. You can make a lot of fun patterns there. So yeah, um, that's the idea. So we have like you know we we have the image that we need. So now we're gonna look at the image. So it is all dot. It's all dot points, right? Yeah, it's all dot point. It's like little bits. It's not a big. It's not like the big the big the big boys so what we want is like I believe this amount yes this amount of red we need then use the blur tool to get or bl blend tool to get the red in there of course I don't want to use too much red so I need to add uh, remove again and then 
do it again so that I have like the red in there. No, that's too much. Still too much. I want, I want even less. Now it should be. Now it should be enough. Yes, excellent, awesome. All right, so that's the idea. We are want to have like the brown effect, but we don't. We don't want to have too much red, but we don't also don't want to have too little red. So we want to have like red that is quite a lot, but more. Of a, it's more of a color that you know point, uh, stands out once you erase a lot of the. It needs to be like a glowing color, like you know a warm color that arrives when you look at the at the feathers. That's the idea. Anyway, uh, so oh wait, we already have the things here for it. So yeah, um, that's the Morpho project for you. It's uh, way different than the other one that I d uh, what, that I'm doing in the Monday or uh, or in the morning. Ugh. The morning one is a little bit difficult. It is a little bit of a shady business. The main the main problem I I'm facing right now with that one is like I need to get I need to make a skull and I need to make look I need to make it look like a skull and yeah that that requires a lot of shading parts. So I want this, I want that, and I use the blend tool again to get this thing fully done. And now it is no, now it does not have any red. Ah, uh, that's uh, that's a problem. I know that it wants red, but I need to make sure that the red is not too much. So it needs to be glowy red, not. Not dark red, I need to have glowy red, but I don't want to have too much glowy red. That's the main problem I'm dealing with. Um, so yeah. This is just me, you know, adding some glowy red instead of, you know, normal red. But also I don't want to have, like, everything red, like, for instance here, I don't want that. And just, you know, glowy red. Um, so, there you go. Alright, now we're gonna look at this again. Alright, how do the other things work? The other things work, so the, the main feathers are red, like the red red, then afterwards it's less red in the end. I believe so. It's it's like a little bit of red. It's more brown. So there is more brown. There is no longer a lot of red. So it's all brown. All right. So technically, we should remove these things then, right? No, we don't. But we need to add. Uh, how do you say? We need to add some. So what what is going on here? We have like red, yes, but it is all beige. So it's all it's less brown. <laughs> Did I make a mistake here? What what went wrong here? What what went? Uh, tell me, boy. We have this. Tell me. What went wrong here? What went? What 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 is going on? Ah, mmm. So it's a different color. I knew it. I call it. I knew it. It was a different color. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. So it is this color instead. All right. Thank you so very much, my my friend. And then we are just casually, you know, getting till part one. Gone. Go for tilt texture two. Go for this one, if I believe. Yes, this one. And we're gonna do an alpha. We're gonna do an alpha remake. So, woohoo! That's not how it goes. That's not how I wanted it to go, and that's not how I wanted it to be. What the hell? I said I wanted to work on this one. Why is it then like, oh, allow me to just you know color things and everything up? 
did did I do diff did I do the dark parts at oh no I did do the dark parts at the same co oh. mistakes mistakes what the hell so I did not do the right things in the right place yeah so what did I do no I did something here yeah. so alright I need to press this button then yes and I need to add that to that color or I believe that's the way to do it yes that's the way to do it alright cool <laughs> I totally did not fuck up there I totally did not fuck up I totally did not went totally mad with the uh, you know rip to pepperoni pizza oh thank god I did it right I did it right thank fucking god Woo. All right. Uh, no need to worry. No need to fucking worry. So now I want to actually remove the first tail. All right. So we don't want to have like we don't want to have the colorful colors to be gone everywhere. We just want them to be gone in the top part. So we actually want to have them to be there right because we still have the colorful colors at where till the third one alright till the third one so we don't have them in the third one that's not what I wanted I need this one to be gone and I need this one to be gone alright I want this to be gone alright so we don't want to ha we wanted to do the third one so one one, two, three, four, yeah, and this one, and then, and then that that is enough, I believe. The rest I need to blend in, so yeah. All right, and now I can go for the blend tool again, and then use the blend tool to get to the excitement part. Of blending the colors into each other. All right, that's actually quite nice that I can do this. So yeah, um, as I said before, um, no need to worry or no no need to panic at all because we're just gonna be doing casually. Yeah, casually drawing. So we have like this, and then then goes to brown. Yeah. All right. Ooh, ah, ah. Good. Awesome. We're back in track, and we're going back in business. So next thing, um, everything needs to have red tails. So we need to now go back to the red part. So we need to be on this one. Yeah, this one. We need to be on that one, and we need to actually have the color for that. That's gonna be the big giant, a big circle over there. All right. Um, do do do. There you go. So we only want like we don't want big times on red here. We want just like tiny little plums of it and then blur them into existence. That's the idea here. Anyway, um so yeah, um I am so glad I made a mistake and I could I, I was able to erase them. Holy guacamole, that, that was a sneaky son of a bitch. I knew that there was something wrong with the wing. Definitely wrong with the wing on the coloration part. 
I just could not figure out what it was, and now I am clear to know what I uh, what I was missing, and now I'm like, ooh, that's a j scary bullet to dodge. Because it's actually a lot of work, if you didn't notice. It's like, uh, it's like, you know, you need to prep dinner, and you only have like two minutes or something. Oh, there you go. So yeah, uh, there you go. It's more like it. Cool. Um, so yeah, we can now see like where everything goes. So most of the things is gonna be just you know casually. Wow, a lot of these things don't even have any reddish. So this whole part here doesn't have it. <laughs> when does when do the when when is the red then back? The red is actually not bad at all. Wow. So the red is only on the big wings then? Eh, yes, no. Yes, no. What the? So it does exist, but it does only exist like tiny amounts. Hmm, strange. And no red has been occurred. Well, red has been occurred, but this, the red here is like almost not visible. So it's like this kind of red, if I believe. Yeah, indeed, that kind of red. Nice. I'm getting the hang of this. So yeah, um, it's really hard to do patterns, but uh, once you're able to find what you did beforehand, you know, things get a little bit more easier, you think. So yeah, the uh, amount of stuff I did, ugh, lovely. It's a little bit uh, difficult sometimes to get these things done. So a lot of these, you know, wings don't even have red with them. They don't even have it. But they do have it, but it is different color. No, it is the same color, but it is lessened. So, should I then go for like, you know, this kind of approach and then be like that size and then go for 50% or something? Yes. You shall suit. That's a really strange take to get you know the color into it. Huh. The more I know, the more I get. So it is like, you know, fifty percent transparency into it built into it. Which creates this color.
Why is it even lower? Eh. Maybe 25% is good enough, right? Yeah. So it's like a it's like a color that you know blends in. Hmm. You know. But then I actually need to erase the, these things because they are not a representation of the thing that I need. Hmm. It's quite funny that you know this is how the uh, texture is going to be looking like because now I can look like ah yes now I can see like oh well that 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 feather looks the same as these feathers instead of you know seeing like ah oh, well what why is where is that why is the left one blood red and the other one not and I could say like well you know. It all happens back in the day of 1984, whatever. So, yeah, um, Sorry that I'm a little bit, uh, you know, silent. I'm just trying to focus upon getting this thing done. I think I did actually already a good job on it. Honestly. So yeah, um... So today, uh... W what a great day. I must say myself. It, uh... Lovely day outside. I did my drawing. I... Worked on the drawing for two hours, I got pretty far on it already, and um, now I'm working on the Morpho project, which is, you know, the same. Um, it's just, you know, always the same thing, because it's like, you know, oh no, I need to do feathers, and then, you know, go back to make a pattern, and then go back to, oh no, I need to make feathers, and then go back to patterns. Well, that's most likely the the best case scenario of, like, what is going to be happening? How things are going to be happening? It's like, you know, you have like these feathers already and you need to fix them. <sighs> and, uh, well, you know, coloring is always my, it's not my strongest aspect, definitely not. But it is an aspect nonetheless. And, uh, well, you know, I need to get these things all, I need to get rid of these. So only on the, only on the colorful side I actually need to have, like, thankfully these are not visible. So nice to have these feathers look like, you know, oak brown. Hmm.
So how do I do these things? Um, let's see. Hmm. It's quite funny, you know, that these things are really hard to, you know, color in. Well, it's not technically coloring, it's just, you know, doing the color a little bit and then, you know, change the change the color by by a little bit. Because a lot of this red is such an annoyance to work around with. Thankfully, it's not. Uh, th thankfully, it's not like you know extreme red. Now look at that! I'm actually done with this one. Nice. All right, uh, we are successfully done with the wing here. We have like two wing parts, and uh, you know they look nice. So, um, I am not supposed to look. I'm not supposed to look straight. Uh, I'm not supposed to be uh, looking sideways. Ah, my eyes. Ouch. When you look at the screen for way too long, you know you you're gonna see stuff, and uh, that's not good because then you have like developed stare and you need to refocus. Blech. So, like I said before, um, the idea what we're gonna be doing here is actually go to this and then place that. So what we now need actually to do is get part two done. So I need to have like a map. Map. Quick group map. There you go. Put this into a map. Put this into a map. Put this into a map. And put texture two into a map. Uh, put texture two. Well you know not in a map but so we have this map, we have we have this map. Ah oh yes, we need that in that map. Put this into map and then put this upwards. Oh so now we have number uno and number twice. Nice. Now we actually can work around uh, upwards, so we can now actually work around these things. So which one is that? Now we're gonna then work on the crystals apparently. Well, you know, crystals can hurt. Crystals can't hurt. Crystals, crystal. Let's see, is there more than one? Some more stuff than crystals? No. Alright, then we're gonna work on the crystals. So we're gonna put this into a map. Gonna put this into a map. Quick group. And put the textures, crystals, and the crystals there. And then underneath that needs to be that. Alright, so. Uh, they can produce lightning and electricity. We have. We have. We have oak brown for the wings. Uh, what is a good what is a good color for oak brown? Let's see what the internet says about that. What kind of what kind of color is good for oak brown? What color? Bright color, b bright color is good to combine with oak brown. Uh, what are the good colors that go well together with a wood tone? Ah, uh, yes, that's the idea. What 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 kind of col colors are good to choose for color? All right. Yeah, yeah. W wood tones, yes. Uh, consider wood tones bloody bloody blue. Contrast attention call. No. Subtle statement. Choose complementary colors. I just want to know what kind of colors are good with oak brown. Come on. Tell me. 
blue? Light blue. Light blue works with light blue look works with it. Light blue, beige, uh purple. Alright, well, let me skip alright. Better wording. Uh salute, Mediterranean, modern grey, tea light, and herbal wash. So we can go for red ones? Would make sense why you would go for red ones because already the feathers have red tints on them. So we want to go for SV784. Alright, so SV754. Motherfucking piece of shit. Motherfucking piece of shit. Are you fucking kidding me right now? That that's the most dickest move ever. Jeez Louise. I was just pressing that button and how did that get there? I am pissed. I am so pissed. Oh, I am so pissed. You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! I mean, really, I'm gonna fucking beat the living shit out of you right now. Uh, Alright, so I have no way to select the color, right? Is there a way to select the color manually? It's such an annoyance when I press the wrong button. I press 2, boom, instantly! I went from the other, other side filter to. Uh, colors? Color to alpha transfer mix channel? No, no. I am canvas. No. Show grid? No. Snap to grid? No. No. Toolbars? Duckers? I am. Oh. Digital color mixer. They. Digital color mixer. There you go. Um, we want that. Yes. So. Let's see what we can get. We don't need yellow. We need. We need. We need white. We need. Need red, so it's gonna be like this. Mm. That one. All right. So we select that. Can we select that? Yes, we select that. All right. Cool. Ah man, don't you love it when you try to do something and then you know you realize like ah yes, I totally fucked up. Ugh, I hate it when I press buttons that uh, you know I normally think are oh, like oh yeah that that's good that's good and then instantly like ah yes this happens. So yeah, uh sorry about that. 
Um, I really hate myself for doing that. That was a that was a really rookie mistake. Do I want this kind of color? Do I want to have like these these reddish effects? Do I want to have like a beginning reddish? It's actually quite cool red though. That's like a blood blood letter red. Uh, if we now add it a little bit more, that one, yeah, that's more like it. That's that's better. That's that's much better. That's uh, that's a way cooler looking. Oh wait. So what do we? What what is what is all to come? All right, so only the only the crystals work. All right, cool. Is it all the crystals? Yes, it's all the crystals. Cool. So we have like this this guy again, and then you know that that's it. That's all, folks. Why is this beneath? Why is this up? Uh, above the wing here hmm. doesn't matter all right cool so we have now these crystals that's true we have the crystals we have a cool looking color on them and I actually want to have like uh, the pulsating red version so we have like these we have the red we have the red in the tip of the wings we want to represent that kind of effect so we wanna go for a little bit more darker effect on the on the top in the middle and then go upwards so we want to actually have a second color here and then go for like I believe like midsection tip like this and then hmm but yeah, um, streaming it not always goes the way you want that to be, and I totally realized that just today. Ugh. Pressing the wrong button is like instantly like, oh yes, that doesn't give me any warning because, um, why does it not give me a warning? Because of the uh, you know time delay, because of the high delay it has. Anyway, uh, sorry about that. Probably not gonna be doing an outro then afterwards because of all that. All right, cool. And uh, now we're gonna go for you know the merch tool, merch blend, blend. Come on, give me blend. There you go. So the idea is that we want to have like this kind of effect. Yeah, that's a cool effect. That's a cool neon effect. I like it. Yeah, that's a cool effect. That that's a really cool effect for the. Uh, well, I know that I don't need that, so I need to erase that from existing. Um, So this effect actually works really well. I like it. Cool. So this effect is like this heat seeking. And then you know we have like this pulsating, so we need like cooler cooler red on the top. Cooler red on the top. Um We need like a cooler, cooler red on the top, so we need this, this, yeah, cooler red on the top, so like this, and then go for a uh, blend tool again. Like that, boom. That's a cool combination of colors. So we want this. Oh, we want the. So yeah. Um. 
we want this color to be there. We want uh, we want uh, we want that color. We want this color to be there, and we want the darker version. So that's gonna be like this one. Yes, that one. And then you have like this effect, uh, which creates this cool-looking, glowing, glowy effect on the crystals, without any shading, of course. So good for me. I'm gonna be saving this anyway because holy hell, I am making mistakes from the get-go, and uh, ooh. That's not good. There you go. Really, saving documents takes so long. What is this? Is this? Uh, oh, it's almost five five G. Ah, all right. Well, get here. Get this thing done. There you go. Can I then also put a, put a color change in it and then say like, no, I want to have blue crystals. I wonder if I can do that. Hold on. I'm gonna be doing that afterward, after this, and then I'm gonna be trying it. See if like, do I want really red crystals or do I want just you know? Uh, that's just ah, uh, come on. I'm this close to getting things right. But yeah, um. Uh, Sorry about the uh, sor sor sorry about the whole damn thing because holy fucking shit, I didn't saw that one coming. It's always something, you know. Everything goes well and then boom, everything goes to smithereens. When the moment I just didn't look back, like I don't have to pay attention on the screen, and then instantly it's like ah, I should have paid attention on the screen. So yeah, uh, it happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. And uh, well, you know, it's annoying that such fail failures can occur. All right, cool. I can go over here now. Call this up. Come on, get, get to it. There you go. All right, so now we're gonna go here and then remove that. Then everything should be fine. Look at that. Awesome. Alright, cool. And that would be that will be it for now, I guess. That is cool. Now we're gonna test something out. We want for instance we wanna have on the red layer we wanna have like a layer style. 
and we want to have a different color on this so we're gonna go for a color overlay and we're gonna say well what kind of color do we want well we want to have like blue blue I said there you go bright blue we have we want to have a blue overlay can we do that Ooh, that is uh, that is cool that is uh, especially cool so we can even say like ah, I want hundred percent blue. Yeah, we can make we can make things blue now. So we can do that. That's that's really cool. Can we also make it glow for like inner glow or what does inner glow do? Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Ah, all right. And so, if we now go for like, you know, what kind of color we want? We want this to be a little bit more orange. We're gonna go for orange. Can we do that? Nice. And if we're gonna say like, well, you know, we actually want to be that on the, we want to have like this kind of skill. Yeah. Go for that kind of approach. Yes. And then we want to have like. Not very much, 2% maybe. That looks awesome. And if we then remove it, alright, and add. And remove does not do anything, so if we add it to 4%, maybe then it will work. No, nothing. So we want to have like 5, 7% then. Yeah. Yeah. That looks cool. Let's see if uh let's just put it down and see if we can zoom it out. Zoom out. So what does that give us? That gives us an inner glow and an outer that gives us an inner glow that yeah, looks decent, but it's not the thing I want. I I do know I now know that I can change colors by just, you know, going for a color overlay. That's actually quite cool. So I don't even have to change the color if I want just to have like you know what, I want a specific kind of blue. I wanna have turquoise blue. Well then congratulations I can put blue in it. I can create this whole damn thing into blue. But uh, yeah. Um, so, yes, that's one of the crystals finally done. Looks nice though, it looks really well, well made. Alright, saving that document up. Lovely. So, yeah. Um, we're now getting to the points where you know we're gonna add the crystals, and then from the crystals on, we're gonna get go to the because I think those crystals look nice on the Oberon. Maybe maybe a little bit more, a little bit less blending, but eh, I think these crystals look these crystals look fine on the Oberon. Uh, but yeah, um, so uh, I believe next time we're gonna be working on the tilt. We're gonna be working on the. Uh, we're gonna work on the second set of crystals. So this one, that one, and once we finish that up, we're gonna continue with you know the tail part and fix that part up. So we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix this part, and then hopefully you know we are then able to get finally go towards the upper part. So the legs and all that lovely stuff. So yeah, um, so far so good. I must say myself. And uh, let's see, that's 50 minutes in. Yeah, I'm gonna be calling it a day before I'm gonna be pressing 2 accidentally again. Why did I press 2? Mm. That was the most stupidest, stupidest break. Like, and now for commercial break. It's like, and then you have this elevator music coming in, like, ah, well. Well, you didn't want to go on an elevator at least and forgot that, you know, you bought a ticket for the for the opera that you were visiting, whatever. You get the point. It, it was ridiculous annoying for me, like, that I pressed that and did not start too early. 
Anyway, um, did it. We're gonna be working on the till. We're gonna be working on the crystals, and then we're gonna go back to the till and then work our way upwards so that we can actually put a pattern of the wing parts into the tail part and then to the and to then on the last part here so that this will look nice after that we're gonna fix uh, after that we're gonna do the hands and then we're gonna fix the fa uh, we're gonna fa fix the face of this mod hawk and then hopefully you know we are can call it a day we're gonna call it then and then we're gonna add some background and fabulously stuff and then it will be all fine so yeah um that was it for today. Uh, thanks all for watching. And uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. And uh, bye!